Liquidity describes your ability to exchange an asset for cash. The easier it is to convert an asset into cash, the more liquid it is. And cash is generally considered the most liquid asset. Illiquidity is the opposite of liquidity. Illiquidity occurs when a security or other asset that cannot easily and quickly be sold or exchanged for cash without a substantial loss in value. Cash is the easiest liquid asset to realize. As you can just dip into your piggy bank or make a withdrawal at an ATM or tap and go with your bank card. Unit trusts are a bit more difficult as you need to have an online account and submit a withdrawal instruction online or computer form. Then depending on when the money was deposited and at which bank you are, it might take a week or so for you to receive your money. Shares will depend on which platform you use, but seeing that timing is very important when selling shares, you might be forced to wait a bit and immediate needs won't be full. Although a tax-free savings account is usually just the type of unit trust, it is not advisable to withdraw due to the limits that you are only allowed to deposit. Withdrawing won't reinstate your limit by that amount. But if you have no other choice, it will be the same as a unit trust already mentioned. Property takes time to sell and therefore is not a liquid asset. The market, administration, fees, etc. makes it difficult for you to benefit from selling a property for immediate needs. Retirement annuities are subject to pension fund rules and can only be withdrawn if it adheres to the minimum rules or a third maximum at retirement or emigration after three years of living abroad. Endowments have a five-year restricted period during which you have limited access to your investment. It only becomes liquid after five years. Life or living annuities are not liquid at all. You can never withdraw capital from them. You can only receive income with one exception on living annuities if they fall below a certain minimum.